Hello, my name is Kuzai Chris Katera, and welcome to the Triple E 3097 Design Course Project Presentation. The objective of the assigned task was to develop an application programming interface in support of a hardware device. The name of the API I developed is called Smart Agro, and I will be walking you through how it was implemented and a demonstration of its usage. With climate change, and global warming progressing at an alarming rate, there is need for the agriculture sector to develop ways of keeping up with food demands. Dwindling yields have seen exponential rises in food prices. The API is applicable in the smart agriculture IoT space. The API builds on the fundamentals of greenhouse farming, providing a controlled environment conducive for optimum plant growth and for maximum yield. It provides remote environment monitoring and remote actuator activation. It can particularly be used in smart farms and greenhouses. I will introduce the selected hardware, the first of which being the light sensor, followed by the soil moisture sensor, then the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, and lastly, the DC motor fan actuator. These modules were chosen because they were within the budget and they were within the project scope. They also provided sufficient accuracy and could easily be interfaced with the Raspberry Pi. Alternatives were also considered but fell short in different ways. Thermistors and LDRs were not sufficiently accurate to meet the user requirements. The BME680 4-in-1 Bosch sensor was out of stock. And the TE connectivity sensor was beyond our budget. An API is meant to provide access to a resource. The Smart Agro API gives access to the connected hardware resource. The API enables easy connection of sensors and actuators to the Raspberry Pi and publishes their data online via MQTT. The API has two layers to it, the first of which being abstracting the low-level hardware interfacing with the devices, the second being abstracting the communication with an MQTT broker. MQTT stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Transport and is a standard lightweight published subscribed network protocol that transports messages between IoT devices. Sensor data is published and actuator commands are subscribed to. Finally, application developers can easily plug into the API using Python or MQTT to collect or visually display data in real time. To my right is a simple implementation of the object-oriented API with functions that one, instantiate the object and connects to a broker, two, publishes census data, and three, activates an actuator. Next is a PyPI package for easy installation using PIP package manager. And last is a thorough documentation of installation instructions, package usage, and module definitions. The demonstrator implements the developed API. It is built purely in Python using the Dash framework, and it utilizes a web framework. The demonstrator application plots sensor data in real time using open source library Plotly. To the right is a diagram showing the relationship between the Raspberry Pi, sensors, ADC, the Smart Agro API, the actuators, and the MQTT broker. This schematic shows the connection of sensors to the Raspberry Pi using the SPI protocol. The BJT is connected in switching mode to turn on the motor using a GPIO pin. The first picture shows everything connected together and the fan in course. The second image and the third image show connections to the, on the Raspberry Pi and also on the breadboard. I'm now opening the IDE 
so that I can SSH to the Raspberry Pi and start the application. As you can see, I have SSH into the Raspberry Pi and I'm just going to run a Python command to start the application. Okay, so I've initiated uh, the application on port 8090. Okay, it's now running successfully. So now I'll just switch on to the demonstration of it. To my right is a live demonstration of the hardware and to my left, is the browser showing what the application looks like so it shows uh, the last updated time you can turn on the fan or turn it off as you please here there is a highlight of the different sensor data that can be shown in more detail as you can see here and then if I scroll down I can see all four graphs of the moisture sensor light sensor temperature sensor and humidity sensor with their values. If I dip in the soil moisture sensor into the water to simulate uh, saturation, we should see that the moisture level should rise as it has done. And as well, if I cover the light sensor to bring some darkness to it, we should see in real time the light sensor graph going down. So that is how it basically works. And then as all of this happens, the MQTT broker gets live updates of the sensor data. I'll now move on to the final slide where I'm concluding. In conclusion, I'll just highlight on the pros, cons, and further extensions that can be done to the API. The pros are it uses little power consumption. Um, the sampling rate can be adjusted and it can be accessed remotely on the internet. The cons are there's limited functionality to currently supported devices. It requires a power source with a sufficient current source. The internet is required for an online broker. Further extensions that can be done would be adding a database to store sensor data, adding support for more sensors, and finally, calculation of statistical measures of central tendency. Overall, the API was successfully built to meet the user requirements and specifications in a timely fashion. It is my first contribution to the open source community, and it is open for contributions and further development. Thank you.